Hello guys, how are you? In uh, today's session, I will explain how we can use uh, session in spmvc.net 6. You can also use uh, the session in this way in other types of application like the .NET MAUI, in the WPF, and in the desktop application. But I will explain here uh, with an example in the spmvc.net 6. So let's we first create a project and then we will see the practical implementation of session variable in .NET 6. Now I have installed Visual Studio 2022. Let's me create a project. We we'll run the Visual Studio as an administrator. Here I will select uh, this option, create a new project. From the uh, drop down, uh, I have al already selected some templates, but you can search here for SP MVC, right? Now here select the second option, ASP.NET Core Web App with Model View Controller. Click on this option and no click on next. I will type here the name for the project uh, SP Session. Yes, it will be the project name uh, and it will be the location of the project. So you can change here the directory uh, by clicking on this option. And uh, my solution name will also be the SP session. Click on next. Here from the drop down, I will select the uh, .NET 6.0 version. From the authentication tab, select none. And uh, you can check or uncheck this option. Click on create. It will take a little time in creating the project. Okay guys, so the project created successfully. You can see here the traditional MVC template. Uh, we have the controllers folder, we have the models folder, and here we have the views folder. Now I will use um, session in this project, I will save some kind of information, some kind of variable in the session, and then I will uh, show the uh, session variable inside a view. So let me first run the project. Okay guys, so the project's running successfully. Now I will show here uh, the session variable data in the home page, but first I will save the data in a controller and then I will use in a view. So let's me close the application. I will go to the controller. I will go to the home controller. Here is my index page. I will remove all this code. Just remove this one. No, I am, I am at the index, I mean at the home page. Now to use the session variable, I mean the session in .NET 6, you have to use the IE uh, HTTP context uh, accessor interface, this one. So I have already copied the code so that we have uh, not make the video too lengthy. Just copy and paste here. Uh, at the class level, you have to declare a private read-only variable of type IHTTP context accessor, right? And just give here a name, like context, right? Now here, 
uh, you have to pass this interface in the constructor of the home controller. So I will declare here a constructor. You know that the constructor in the C sharp is with a class name. So my class name is home controller. The constructor will also be with a class name. Now I will pass these I HTTP context accessor interface. You can see that it is um, inside the Microsoft SP.NET Core dot HTTP dot I HTTP context accessor. So it is the namespace, right? I will just uh, keep its name like this. And no, I will assign this variable to the private read only variable inside the constructor. Right. So it is the first step. You have to make a variable of I HTTP context. And in the constructor of the controller, you have to pass here as a variable and then assign to this variable. I mean, this parameter will be assigned to the context, to this one, right? It is the first step. Now, in the index page, let's me uh, create a session variable. So I can create a session variable like in this way. Copy this one. Let's uh, me put some data like HTTP context dot session dot set string. The string lets me uh, put here uh, some data like it takes two variables. The first one is the key and the second one is the value. So the key in the session will be like student name and the value will be the value should be like John, right? And now let me create one another variable of the session and I will save the student ID in the second one. So to save integer in the session in .NET 6, you have to set like set in 32, right? And here will be the key of my session, student ID, and the student ID let's suppose is 50. So I declare here two variables of the session. The first one is the student name and the second one is the student ID in the home page. Now I will I can use these two variables in my whole application anywhere uh, in the controllers, in the helpers classes, in other classes, and also in the views. So let me first run the application. Okay, it's throw me an error and unhandled exception occurred. Uh, unable to solve service of type Microsoft uh, sp.net core .http. Okay, so we have to register this interface inside the program.cs class. Then this error will not be shown here. So let's me close. Go to the program.cs class. And here in the program.cs, I have to register the IHTTP context interface. So I have already uh, copied the code. Sorry. Dot services dot add singleton. And here I have to import the IHTTP context interface, like in this way. Copy, like in this way. Save and run the application again. Cannot insert implementation of 
for surveys of our GUSAB to HTTP context. Let me view the detail. There is coming some kind of error. So I will copy this one. Let me go to the Google Chrome. Uh, register in yes class. Sorry, guys. Have to register like in this way. Yes. Stop the application. Continue. It's throw me again. A session has not been configured for this application. So I have also. Uh, to configure the session in the program.cs. So I will add here app.use session like in this way. Again, able to resource service of .i session store while attempting to activate. Uh, Let me also add one another uh, line of code, and this is to some kind of data to the services. Builder dot services dot add distributed memory cache, and you have also to add session builder.services to add session and here you can set the idle time at this time I am setting the time up to 70 minutes I will uh, set the time up to two hours I mean 120 minutes which is equal to two hours uh, guys I, I did not remove uh, all the errors from the video because I want to show you the practical things, the errors, and the other kinds of difficulties that we are facing. Uh, I can remove the parts of the error from the video, but I think there is no need so that you can see the things practically. So I am running the application again. OK, now finally, we get all kinds of errors. Uh, we remove all kinds of error from the application, and the application is running successfully. Now let me display these two variables, the student name and the ID inside the inside the home page. Now go to the view. Okay. Uh, let me remove this data. And here I will add a UL. Student ID is equal to and the second will be the student name, right? Now first import me the namespace by HTTP. Uh, Let me inject the interface first. Inject I HTTP. I mean it is Yes. Context in this way. I will use here at the rate context dot HTTP context dot session. Okay, now let me go to the controller. Here we are setting the string and setting the integer. Now to get this variable, I have to use get string and get in 32. Okay, so the variable name is student name. Get string. I have just to pass the key. In the second line, I have to use the student ID. I have to get int. Uh, the key is student ID. You have just to pass 
the key inside these two functions for getting the value of the session variable. Now let me stop the application and run again. You can see that I am getting the session variable. Uh, the student I oh, sorry. Here will be the student ID. Right. Yes. Get int. And here will be the student get string, the student name. Okay, student ID is 50 and student ID John. No, I can use these two session variables in my other pages like in the privacy page, in the home page, and also if I add some other pages, then I can use these two variables easily. I can also use these two variables uh, in other part of the controller. So let us me uh, get these variables inside the privacy page. like context dot http context dot session dot get string I will pass here the key and the key is student name okay stop the application no I will put here a debugger continue the uh, run the project You can see that our two variables are set in the home controller index action method. Now I will go to the privacy page. Okay. Click next. Next. Now go to the student name. You can see that I get the value of the student name from the session. So we can use session like in this way in uh, spmvc.net6. You can also save the class objects inside the session, but uh, for these, you have to convert the class object first into JSON uh, and then save in a string. Uh, if you want to use in the pages in the other part of the project, then you have to uh, first get the JSON string and then you have to convert the JSON string to the object. Right?